what was your experience when you came to the singing? A lot of actors had experience and a lot of actors did. And what was yours? And how did you see the script when you got it? Um, well, I have um, some experience of, of the musical because I did a year in the West End playing Eponine. And then I, um, I played up in the 25th anniversary concert at the O2 Arena. So I, you know, I had a lot of experience of the, the actual piece and the character, but I didn't have any experience in the film world. So for me, that was the, the kind of the challenge in the audition process to prove I could translate this onto the screen. But you know, a lot of, of the other actors came in it from the opposite way. So Eddie Redmayne's, you know, done all these phenomenal films and these phenomenal acting performances. He's never done a musical, so therefore we were all kind of creating something together and do all try and ask for the first time and so it was kind of incredible to have that level of support um, from everyone you know and we could look to somebody like Hugh Jackman as, as our leading man for inspiration because he's done both so he's like the perfect sort of cross-section between those two worlds. There's something also well in your case the, the fact that it was like live singing and it was yeah. not you know like lip sync like lip sync sorry um, was it for you like don't say cut, let me finish, or yeah. how was it, that experience shooting? Yeah, that was the thing, because live vocals, live singing is my life. That's I've been in theatre since I was 17, and so I'm always used to singing live. So actually, I found that so, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to get to do that on film, because you can then allow that, the joys of film is the realism and the, the intimacy and the truth that you can, that you can portray if the camera's right here. So I felt like it was a unique, blend of those two things, of those two worlds, which felt special to be a part of, definitely. Now, there's also something that I like about this story is that through each of the characters, you get like this something of the, of life, you know, these problems yeah. that they go through. So can you talk about what your character was, was going through and what people are going to learn through her? Yeah, I think that that's why this piece is so sort of well loved, because of the individual characters. And I think Eponine definitely represents that unrequited love, that kind of, you know, that heartbreak, basically. And, it, and it's such a sad character to play because we've all been through unrequited love, but for Eponine, it's on a much deeper level because she's got nothing else in her life. She has no family or friends. All she has is this burning desire for this wonderful man. And what I think's sort of tragic, obviously her ending is tragic, but what I think's kind of the beautiful part of it is she, she leaves this earth as a redeemed soul, as a good person, through her love for him. And I think that's kind of, I think that's a beautiful sort of moment of it. Although it's sad and tragic, her ending I think is beautiful.